everyone, it's Natasha of natashaskitchen.com and today I'm gonna to teach you how to make a roasted turkey. I'm talking about a crisp, salty skin, so flavorful, it doesn't require very much marinating time at all. And I'm gonna show you the secret to a juicy turkey breast. Start by removing the neck and the bag of giblets from your fully thawed turkey. Rinse inside and out and pat dry with paper towels. You'll notice I have the turkey sitting on paper towels as well. That's to soak up any extra water. Transfer your turkey into a roasting pan and tuck in the wings. If you don't, they're the quickest to burn. Season the inside of your bird generously with a teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. To make the flavored butter, combine one cup of softened unsalted butter, two tablespoons of olive oil, two pressed garlic cloves, a quarter cup of fresh parsley, half a tablespoon of salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper, and four tablespoons of fresh lemon juice, along with half a tablespoon of lemon zest. Take a few minutes to mash those together until the mixture is smooth and the lemon juice is incorporated in the butter. You will love how fresh this smells. You'll need to separate the skin from the turkey breast and do that from both the front and the back, being very careful not to tear the skin. Stuff two thirds of the butter mixture under the skin, then spread the butter around by massaging over the top of the skin. The butter keeps the turkey breast tender, juicy, and provides so much flavor. Quickly pat dry the turkey with a paper towel and rub the remaining butter mixture over the top and sides of your turkey. We're not looking for perfection here, at this point it doesn't even matter, just use up all your butter. Drizzle all over with olive oil and generously season with salt and pepper. Stuff the turkey with a quartered lemon, half a bunch of fresh parsley, a quartered onion, and four halved garlic cloves. To tie the bird, you'll need some kitchen string. And I found this in the craft section of my grocery store. I'm not sure if it's exactly kitchen twine, but thankfully it didn't catch fire. Ha! <laughs> tie the base of the turkey, then tie the drumsticks, crossing them over each other to make sure that they are tightly secured to prevent the bird from escaping. Here's the secret to a juicy turkey breast. I picked up this tip from Alton Brown. Fold a sheet of foil into a triangle and oil one side. Place the foil oil side down over the top of your turkey and shape it to form a shield over your turkey breast. Remove the shield for now and set it aside. Place a meat thermometer into the bird beneath the drumstick and deep into the dark meat. Start roasting at 430 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 minutes. Take it out of the oven and quickly baste with butter from the bottom of the dish. Now place the shield back over the turkey breast, reduce the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, and bake for another two and a half hours for a 12 pound turkey. Take the turkey out of the oven when the thigh registers 170 degrees Fahrenheit and the breast registers 160. The temperature will continue to rise slightly after it comes out of the oven. Tent the bird with foil and let it rest for at least an hour. The longer it rests, the juicier it will be. My turkey is well rested. I've saved the drippings from the pan to make the most amazing gravy later and I'll leave a link below. And I'm going in for the taste test. Ooh, I can tell it's a juicy one. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's so flavorful and moist. Absolutely delicious. But I call one of those drumsticks, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Yum, that flavored butter makes everything taste amazing. As if it's been marinating for hours, but it hasn't at all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a great big thumbs up below and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great recipes. We'll see you later.